All right, hey, what's up, guys? It is Friday. We made it. It's Friday. Okay, so we have the strength piece to begin with. We're going to be doing every minute on the minute for eight minutes. We're going to perform one deadlift every minute on the minute for eight minutes. The loading on the deadlift is pro, uh, prescribed to be two times body weight. Right, so as we did, uh, start to load up, we want to make sure that that loading feels like something we can maintain for all eight sets, right? That's the goal is to go and maintain that loading for all eight sets. But let's focus on making sure we have good mechanics. If we can't hit that two times body weight with good mechanics, then we just need to lighten the load and focus on maintaining the load that we can, the heaviest load that we can for all eight sets. Um, ideally, we're not building on this eight minutes. We're, able to, we're finding a load that we can maintain, but we want to listen to our body. We want to focus on good mechanics. Then we're going to go into a three rounds for time workout where we're going to perform 30 box jump overs. Then you go into 30 Russian kettlebell swings, finishing up with 30 hand release push-ups. Right, so as we move through this workout, we're looking to move through proficient, proficiently, taking, trying to take as little break as possible. Ideally, those box jump overs that we're performing, they're done unbroken. We're not trying to pause between each set. We want to find a nice rhythm that we can maintain, uh, whatever that means for us, without having to take too many breaks walking around. Then we go into our Russian kettlebell swings, find a load that for at least the first two rounds, we can get that done unbroken. And the hand release push-ups, that's one of those things that we just gotta focus on having good mechanics. Nice little points of performance on the hand release push-ups I wanna talk about is when we do that hand release push-up, we're trying to maintain a plank position from the beginning of our press uh, all the way through the top, and then when we descend, we wanna make sure that we lower our body as a plank. We're not trying to, uh, to arch or we're not trying to worm our way through this. When we're laying on the ground, when we take our hands off the ground, we wanna make sure our thighs aren't touching the ground. So we're just going chest and toes on the floor and then we press back up in that plank. Maintain a nice rigid body. Um, it's, as we get fatigued, it's really easy to let our, our chest lead the way and let our hips and thighs kind of fall behind. Try to maintain a good plank position. We're hoping to get this workout done somewhere between maybe 10 and 15 minutes. We're gonna have an 18 minute cap on it. Looking forward to this one for Friday, guys. Have a good week.